Oh. Hi everybody, hi every spirit. Welcome once again to my channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to take a ride in Esoteric Cloud, which is a lighter vehicle, also less dense and also vibing on a higher frequency and vibration in comparison to the vehicles that we are using right now. And when your spirit goes into a, a light, lighter, as in weight, vehicle, it can float and rise above this realm to less dense and lighter perspectives so you can see and feel about yourself in a lighter way, right? So, thank you very much for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. Uh, check my link tree in the description below. It has all the content about me. Check uh, Daria or Miss Daria's links in the description below as well. She has a art page, Twitch and YouTube page as well. And a huge shout out to the Soul Group and to everybody that is changing the world right now by being themselves. So this video is about your fuel, all right? How you use and how you uh, recharge your fuel, right? Because uh, spiritually speaking, for you to stay light, you, you can't have too much fuel. You can't have too much sustenance, memories, feelings and ideas within you, within your space. But if you want to continue flying to new areas, you need fuel, right? To, like planes and cars need fuel. We also need fuel. Our physical vessel needs fuel. Food. Our emotional bodies need fuel. Uh, emotions. Our mental bodies needs fuel, thoughts and ideas. Our spiritual bodies needs fuel. Our spirit needs fuel, experiences, travel by itself. That's why the spirit creates a bodies. So it, for it to go in those bodies and then experience through those, right? So we must reach a state of equilibrium that you have enough fuel to fly, but not as much fuel that will make you heavy and not able to fly, okay? And that goes for all realms, physically, emotionally, and mentally as well, right? If you wear too much your body, you can't physically go places. If you don't, if you exhaust your mind, you can't mentally go to new places. You can't have a brighter imagination. You can see the bright, the bright light in the end of the dark day, right? And sometimes, you might feel negative or you might feel depressed just because you are out of fuel or you have too much fuel, you have too much memories, too much feelings, too much things attached to your space that you don't need to have. So when you try to fly, when you try to move, you can't. Or you need to apply a lot of energy, you need to apply extra energy that you don't need to apply just to lift yourself and your baggage. Right, so you have to look at your life and the things that you do and the things that you express and the things that you consume, the things that you absorb and observe, right? And you have to sort it out what type of things exhaust you and what type of things replenish you. And then you obtain a, a balance level, right? And this example, like spiritually speaking, now we go like more uh, physically speaking when it's about relationships and you you want to move on but you're still thinking about something a mistake you made that person how fuck how good it was or how fucked up it was and then you want to go to a new place you want to go to a new relationship and you're still carrying on those old things that's a, a physical representation of what i'm here trying to explain that comes from a spiritual level if you carry things within your space that do not replenish you, they do not motivate you, they do not make you see better things, you are too heavy. So, first conclusion about your fuel, we need balance, right? We need to have fuel to fly, but not as much as it would make us feel low and depressed and we can't fly. And then it's what is a good, uh, a good fuel? How can you identify good esoteric fuel? Is things that make you excited, things that make you feel powerful, or things that remind you how powerful you are. Things, memories, feelings, ideas, people, places, food, whatever, right? Things that can lift you up, literally. 
Everybody has something that makes them feel uplifted. Chocolate, weed, alcohol, bitches, right? Everybody. And then we have to reach a balance point because many people like coffee because coffee gives them energy. But many people that drink coffee because they want to have energy, coffee makes them feel tired because they are using the f they are applying the fuel in the in the wrong space right like coffee can help you give it can give it you a boost if you are in an area or if you are applying that fuel into an area that already makes you feel excited otherwise coffee will just in the in this specific case it will be just another substance another weight that's why many people that drink coffee looking for energy drink coffee and they feel down or 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 with no energy because they added a type of fuel that they can't use to fly and now it's too heavy because they can't use it they need to wait until they flush it out so now their body has something extra that it's not using some uh, uh, rubbish some garbage and you have to carry it so you have to be in that goes emotionally and mentally as well there is many ideas many thoughts many facts that you don't need to carry around your mind then you 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 have an idea an imagination a fire you feel good about it and then you reach the air part you want to communicate or you want to imagine how to really do it boom you have a block or you can pass a certain part of your imagination you feel a certain way that you feel uncomfortable or you feel it's not possible your mind is too heavy you are carrying within your mind thoughts and ideas that instead of making you go further, they make they make you go, uh, they make you stay in the same place. They're like anchors, okay? So you, you need to be aware what are you consuming and then where are you exhausting? Where are you expressing? Because you you can be talking too much, for an example, or to the wrong people because if I spend two hours talking to a group of people that they enjoy what I'm talking about and they participate in the conversation, I, that's a fuel that makes me fly, makes me lighter, makes me excited. But if I spend two hours talking to somebody that is opposing me or they, they, don't, they don't really relate to what I'm saying, it's very hard to come across, I will feel exhausted, you know? So in one way, you put fuel out you use fuel to fly to an area that replenish you on the other side you use your fuel to fly to an area that has no fuel for you you don't receive anything back and then you feel drained okay so until right now we have three points about your fuel how to use your fuel whatever right so first you need, you need to maintain the balance level not too much fuel not too less fuel you want to be light but you want to have fuel to make you fly second is uh, how to know what the good fuel is is something that makes you feel excited many foods may taste good but then they make you feel heavier or they make you feel sluggish not the, not the right type of fuel for your body all right then third is where are you using or yes you, you are using your fuel to reach where where are you going? Which places are you going? Are you going to places where you can refill your spaceship? Or you are going into places that after a long travel, there is no replenishment and you just feel worse, okay? And those are basically the main things that you should know about yourself and how to use your fuel. And if you feel heavy, you need to express, you need to flush out, you need to uplift yourself, you need to let some fuel go, you're too heavy. If you feel too scattered, if you feel too tired, because tired can be from both, can be, can be, can be from no fuel or can be from excess of fuel. But it's two different types of tired. If you are spiritually inclined, you can understand. One tiredness feels like you have nothing within you. It feels like you're too light. Your spirit has no connection with this realm. You need to absorb something you need to eat you need to relax you need to maintain your energy within you and other times you feel like you're too heavy you spend too much time thinking or you spend too much time feeling you spend too much time not doing anything and all of those thoughts and feelings are now accumulated within you 
And when you try to do something, it's heavy mentally and emotionally. When you're about to get ready to do something, it's heavy on you. You start to develop second thoughts that block your passage, spiritually speaking. You need to express it. You need to uh, smoke because smoke is light in itself or drink some water. Drink some water helps things be more clear and flu and uh, uh, gain fluidity or some spicy things that makes your blood flowing as well or some milk and you, you drink some milk and now you are able to relax. If, if you are too heavy emotionally or mentally, you, you drink some milk and you can relax easier. If you're too heavy uh, physically, uh, something spicy, some push-ups, expressing yourself, talking or just forcing yourself. You, you have all that fuel, right? It's very heavy. Use that fuel to imagine something better. And that no, not only you have used the fuel that was too much, and now you have a destination to go with the rest of the fuel, and that's, the, that's just right. All right, guys? So it's going to be everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. Check my link tree. I'm open for readings. I'm open for paintings. Contact me using my email. You can donate to me as well. Thank you very much for watching. Shout out to the Soul Group. Shout out to Daria. Shout out to myself. Shout out to you watching. And bro, you, you, you have to be smart. You have to be responsible how and where you use your fuel right you might be using too much you might be using too little you might be using on the wrong areas you might be taking the wrong fuel to yourself it might taste good like like foods or certain feelings being with that person might feel good but they make you fly they make you travel to certain spaces full of monsters or just empty so your fuel is used into the wrong areas or the emotions that they communicate to you or the vibe that you receive is bad fuel they make your your spaceship fly uh, all junky you, it's like when you put gasoline in a car that runs in diesel you have to know yourself and then you can see where's good fuel to you what good space to fly with how to exp then you have all you can develop all mental tricks to know how to expand less fuel in those areas no you feel too heavy so you're gonna make it on purpose, on purpose to expand more fuel just because you feel too heavy and you wanna uplift yourself. You gotta know yourself, you gotta develop your own tricks, your own metaphors, your own methods. Metaphor, method, all right? They come from meta, from imagination, from all possibilities and you'll be all right. Just don't, I think it's very important to not overreact when you feel tired or you feel down because most times it's, it's because of lack of action or lack of expression and, and you have too much things within you weighting down. And most people, they get depressed because they allow others to press them into their space. They, don't, they, they see themselves as not able to express themselves, so they let others press them and th they just need to express themselves. They just need to do whatever they want to do and they'll be no depressed no more because they are they are not using their fuel and their fuel is like their, their spirit is drowning in that liquid, in that essence, in that emotion, in that fluid, in that fuel. Okay, so take good care of your spaceship, take good care, take good care of your fuel, make sure you have enough but not too much, Make sure you, you are injecting within you, you are absorbing good fuel and make sure you are using that fuel to reach the right spaces for you. Till the next time, as a Philosopher, flying out. It was a pleasure seeing you. See you next time. Bye.